today we're thinking about faithfulness and what that means. You might have heard dogs being referred to as being faithful companions, faithful friends. This is our faithful friend Toby, the Cocker Spaniel. He's just over a year old, he's still baby. I'm sure that he has the potential to do amazing things and I want to share with you a couple of dogs um, in history who've done incredible things. There was a dog called Delta who almost 2,000 years ago when the volcano Vesuvius erupted near Pompeii, um, he protected his master by lying on top of him to try and stop him being hurt by the falling ash and lava. He had already saved his master's life three times. First, when his master fell into the sea, Delta pulled him out. When his master was attacked by four robbers, Delta fought them off. Thirdly, his master was attacked by a wolf that Delta defeated. But unfortunately, Delta couldn't protect him from the volcano, but he died trying to. In 1923, a dog called Bobby got lost on a family trip. The family had to go home without him, but Bobby followed his family home all the way from Indiana to Oregon, which is about 2,300 miles, which he, and he made that journey in about two months. Really amazing stuff. Um, so one day, Toby, one day we might be counting on you to get us out of a sticky situation. So dogs can be faithful to their humans. And I wonder, if people can be just as faithful. During this video, Mummy made a mistake. She said that Caleb was in the promised land for 40 years. She meant 40 days. Uh-oh. Today I'm going to introduce you to a man called Caleb. And we read about Caleb in the book of Numbers. We are still focusing on Moses and the Israelites and their journey to the promised land. But Caleb is a really important character for you to know about. Moses, who was by now well into his 80s, an old man, he chose 12 men, also fairly old, to be spies. He sent them into the Promised Land for 40 years to find out just what it was like, to find out who was living there, what the land was like, what could be grown there. He wanted to know all about it. So he sent his most trusted men and Caleb was one of those. He was full of faith in God. Many of the men returned after 40 years, completely terrified by what they had seen in the land, but not Caleb. Let's have a look at this little video, uh, which will tell you more about um, Moses' plan, about the spies, about what they discovered and about Caleb's great faith. God told Moses, send men to scout out the land of Canaan. I am giving this land to the Israelites. Moses sent out one leader from each family tribe. He told the men what to do. Go see what the land is like and whether the people who live there are strong or weak, few or many. Moses had a lot of questions. Is the land good or bad? Are the cities they live in camps or forts? Is the land good for farming? Are there any trees? Moses said, be courageous. So the men went and scouted out the land. They traveled around the land for 40 days. They cut down a cluster of grapes in the valley and carried it on a pole. Then they went back to Moses, Aaron, and the Israelite community to tell them what they saw. The land is good. It is flowing with milk and honey, they said. But the people living in the land are strong, and the cities they live in are large and well protected. Then Caleb, one of the spies, said, We must go up and take possession of the land. We can certainly conquer it with God's help. But the other men disagreed. The people are stronger than we are. We look like grasshoppers compared to them. The Israelites were afraid, and they cried all night. 
They thought Moses and Aaron had brought them to Canaan to die. The Israelites said, Let's appoint a new leader and go back to Egypt. Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before the Israelites. Joshua and Caleb, who had both scouted out the land, tore their clothes and said to the Israelites, The land is extremely good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will give it to us. Don't be afraid of the people living in the land. God is with us. Caleb was certainly full of faith. Moses trusted him with a very special task. And Caleb was one of only two of the spies who actually believed that they could take the promised land. This was something God had promised and Caleb remembered that God had always been with the Israelites, rescuing them out of Egypt, performing miracles such as parting the Red Sea so that they could escape from the Pharaoh. He had seen so many signs of God's power and he fully trusted in God. Caleb had faith because he knew God was powerful, but he also was faithful to his leaders. We can be faithful to God, choosing to trust and obey him even when things are hard. And we can be faithful to those who lead and guide us, our parents, teachers, church leaders, fulfilling the tasks that we're, that we're given responsibly and supporting them by behaving in a respectful way. Maybe your parents give you small tasks or chores to do at home, or your teachers give you some responsibility at school. And if you show that you're trustworthy in those things, you will be given even more to do, and you will be highly valued as a member of your community. When Moses told the people they could take the land, Caleb backed him up. The other spies refused because they'd been scared and they started a rebellion among the people instead of faithfully obeying their leaders. If we're faithful, people can recognise our dependability and they know they can count on us. God gets the glory as people recognise that as Christians, we work well together and we can be trusted. Being a Christian doesn't just affect our relationship with God, it affects our attitude to everything we do. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Faith means being sure of the things we hope for and knowing that something is real, even if we don't see it. So putting your faith into practice can be quite hard and having faith in God can sometimes feel difficult. Faith is being sure of the things we hope for and knowing it's real, even if we don't see it. And this may sound odd, but it works. Try and carry on your week as you normally would, but with faith for what you're hoping God will do for you.